Success in creating artificial intelligence would be the biggest event in human history. Unfortunately, it might also be the last unless we learn how to avoid the risks. That statement basically sums up this video. Why would the invention of artificial intelligence be the biggest event in human history? Why can't the invention of a cost-effective, efficient nuclear fusion process that would give us an almost unlimited supply of energy be the biggest event in human history? Why can't the invention of perfect genetic engineering be the biggest event in human history? Why can't colonizing space be the biggest event in human history? It's simple. Because artificial intelligence, specifically strong artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence which is capable of performing better than humans in the areas of deduction, reasoning, problem solving, knowledge representation, planning, learning, communication, perception, and motion, would be able to reach those discoveries and inventions faster than any human, mostly due to what is referred to as recursive self-improvement. If we reach that point, then we might, and I emphasize on might, be in trouble. That is because an artificial intelligence entity going through recursive self-improvement is continuously and perpetually improving its own intelligence until it reaches the physical limits of intelligence itself. If you've seen the movie Her, excellent movie, there was one particular part in the movie where an artificial intelligence entity was talking to thousands of humans using the verbal human language. But when it was talking to other artificial entities, it was using a post-verbal language, something that is much more efficient than what we generally use. That is only one area, communication. There are many other areas like I mentioned earlier. This is not science fiction. It's not just something limited to movies or books or TV shows. This could actually happen. If we reach a point where we have an artificial intelligence entity going through recursive self-improvement, then we have created something called technological singularity. It is a point where an artificial intelligence entity is much more capable than the collective population of humans. After this point, the decisions of an artificial intelligence entity become difficult to understand and impossible to predict. Why would the invention of artificial intelligence also might be our last? That is because of what I have just mentioned. Strong artificial intelligence is difficult to predict. Because remember, strong artificial intelligence is better at predicting the outcome of a decision than a human. Will this artificial intelligence entity accept us as its creators and ensure our continued livelihood? Like how I mentioned in my video here, where I have shown that even if it turns out that faster than light travel is impossible, with the help of artificial intelligence, we can still expand to thousands of galaxies given enough time? Or will this artificial intelligence entity choose a different path, a path that doesn't really involve humans in the picture, like the many TV shows, movies, books about artificial intelligence? The problem is, no one can really tell you what would happen. But we may not have to make the decision of allowing strong artificial intelligence to happen or not. It could be impossible to make in the first place. Right? Not really. It turns out that the question that is plaguing artificial intelligence researchers right now isn't whether strong artificial intelligence is possible or not. It is when will it happen, which is embodied in a quote by MIT computer scientist Scott Aronson in response to another researcher that predicted that artificial intelligence would happen within the next 100 years, where he said, and I quote, 
The idea that we could build computers that are smarter than us and that those computers could build still smarter computers until we reach the physical limits of what kind of intelligence is possible that we could build things that are to us as we are to ants. All of this is compatible with the laws of physics and I can't find a reason of principle that it couldn't eventually come to pass. The main thing we disagree about is the time scale. A few thousand years before artificial intelligence seems more reasonable to me. Not convinced? Here is another quote from Stephen Hawking in an article published with co-authors in The Independent, where it was said, Looking further ahead, there are no fundamental limits to what can be achieved. There is no physical law precluding particles from being organized in ways that perform even more advanced computations than the arrangements of particles in human brains. You also have to understand that intelligence isn't something that has to be completely invented from scratch. High intelligence can already be observed in nature in the form of you. Your brain is the product of hundreds of millions of years of evolution. If nature could figure it out, why can't humans also figure it out? Now with all that said, you can see that strong artificial intelligence could completely transform society with the benefits that it could bring, but it could also harm society because of its unpredictable nature. There is a massive debate on whether to allow strong artificial intelligence to happen or not, but I'm not going to go into that debate because what we are going to do right now is have you choose the fate of mankind. Imagine that one day you are on a platform. On this platform there are two buttons, a green button and a red button. You click the green button and you will allow strong artificial intelligence to happen. You click the red button and you will not allow strong artificial intelligence to happen ever again. Which button would you click? Click the annotation corresponding to the decision that you would choose and at the end of this video I will show you what people have chosen. The fate of humanity is in your hands. That has been my take on should we allow artificial intelligence to happen. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.